900 millimeters of beautiful 4K footage with just a 100 to 400 lens? Let's talk about how that works. So a few weeks ago, I reviewed the Sony 100 to 400 and mentioned during that that there's a couple of additional modes that you can use when it's paired with the a7R 3 that get you a whole lot more reach when shooting video. Now it's important to note, all of this applies to video. Some of it applies to stills, but I don't want you to use it for stills. It's not worthwhile. It doesn't do anything different than cropping and post would do. So 100 to 400 matched with the Sony a7R 3 shoots beautiful 4K footage. Now, you can shoot full frame or in the APS-C crop mode, and the quality is basically the same in both of those modes in most conditions, so it's very easy to assign a button. And one of the things that I love about the a7R 3 is that all of these customizable buttons can have different features depending on what mode you're in. So in video mode, I've assigned C4 to bump me into that APS-C crop mode. That's 1.5 times more reach. 1.5 times 400 gives me 600 millimeters of reach. I'm still shooting beautiful 4K footage. Now, in addition to that, there is a feature in the a7R 3 called clear view zoom. It zooms in further, another 1.5. And in my case, I've assigned the AEL button to that function. And then you can use the joystick to zoom in from one time to 1.5 times for an additional reach that equals 900 millimeters. Now in my review, I actually had the teleconverter on for another 1.4X. That gets you out to 1260 millimeters, still shooting 4K. Now, it does become a little difficult to stabilize out at that distances, but I've had good luck in Final Cut with using the stabilization in Adobe Premiere as well. Does a decent job. You lose a little bit more detail when you've zoomed in. But it's just a nice feature that if you're shooting video with these cameras and you're looking to maximize your reach with a long lens, or maybe you've got a wide angle on and you need to crop in a little bit more for whatever reason, you can do it with a wider angle lens as well. I just really love that versatility that's offered with those features in this camera, and especially on Safari, I found it really useful. If you've got any questions or comments about this, you can leave them right down below. And if you wanna watch the full review of this lens, that's linked right down below and at the end of this video as well. If you found this quick tip helpful, give it a thumbs up, we appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe for more gear reviews, tips, tricks, and how-to videos. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.